some of the signs uh, say Londonderry, but they've been graffitied and the London is knocked off of it. This is Dungiven Castle in between Belfast and Derry. I think it's funny that they have a store here called Iceland because Iceland, the country, isn't known for great prices. But the store has a lot of things that are a pound or so. A short walk from the bus station is a little brick tourist information building. So I'll go in and see what they have to say. Derry, like Belfast, has different areas with different murals. Over here is the Loyalist area. Over that way, we see the Loyalist murals. From what I've gathered, that hand, the outstretched hand, signifies Ulster, which goes along with Loyalist, people that want to be loyal to the crown, or Unionist, depending on uh, whether they're militant or not, is what I hear. But the differences between the two terms. It's definitely a different feeling with the murals here, as they are not as militant, and if so, they're a lot more subtle. All the old stuff in Derry is from the 17th century. The walls were built between 1613 and 1618, and the church behind me was built in 1633. It's St. Columns Cathedral. Obviously undergoing renovation now, but it's still open, so we'll go on in. I break for animals, I break for this, I break for that, but this person, they swerve for more, I see. So these are the famous city walls. Derry, or London Derry, is the only completely walled city that remains on the island of Ireland. They always do these long <laughs> things to qualify what it is. Derry from the view of the wall. This area is called Bogside. It's the Catholic area. You can tell because it says Free Dairy instead of London Dairy like the other area. This was part of a house that got demolished in the 60s, and this has become a rallying point for people to protest and things like that. And this has stayed as an homage to what it is. Someone in Belfast told me that the murals in Derry were better than the ones in Belfast because these are done by actual artists. And you gotta say, like, that's pretty stunning. This whole place has got a retro feel to it to me because the buildings have this timeless aspect to them. These murals certainly suggest another time and place. It's an interesting town. I'm quite happy over here because it's very retro, as I said. It's an interesting place. And, as always, videoing one of these days will get me killed. Almost got hit by a taxi right there. Bloody Sunday happened here in Derry, January 30th, 1972. The British Army went against civil rights protesters and killed a bunch of them. This uh, little thing here says their little political stance of, um, that the only way the wounds can be healed is, is, is if everybody takes responsibility for what happened. Everybody being the British military, British judiciary, British government, and the government in Northern Ireland, in Stormont. 